Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you a bonus episode today on this fine Sunday where we're going to work on some structures in Scarland to spruce them up and make them even more awesome. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scarland. And today we're having a bonus episode on Scarland on this fine Sunday. And we're going to need to do a little pest control before we start our project here. So let's just clear this guy out. And I saw Bob, the creeper building inspector, around here somewhere. I know he's lurking, so we need to keep a weather eye open, mates. Because there'll be squalls ahead. And Davy Jones be waiting for those who don't obey. Tell me what that line's for, and you re will receive 10 whole awesome points. So that's a really good deal, by the way. Uh, let me know. Let me know what, what where that uh, that saying can be, be found. I found the mother load of creepers. There they are. There they are. Hey guys, the building stuff's over there. Isn't that where you guys need to be? You know, inspecting, destroying your all the things that you do best. <laughs> all right. So what we're gonna work on in this um, super awesome Sunday bonus episode is our overhang that we built for the fishing um, dock and pier. So we have a few additions we're gonna make today and we need to get kind of started here and try to figure out where these additions will start. So the first thing we need to do is add light. So we need to add some lights from the ceiling up here and I want to add a little more detail to the posts that stick up here. So just add a little extra detail and uh, I think that would be pretty cool. So let's just dump off some of this chunk into the water. Uh, I'll keep that. There we go. And let's build up a bit of scaffolding. All right. So build up a bit of scaffolding. And what better way to play Minecraft and to talk about Star Wars? So that's what we're going to talk about today. And that is Star Wars. So Star Wars movies, Star Wars video games. So I'm very, very excited and optimistic about the future of Star Wars. Now, I know some people, super fans, if you will, are, you know, hemming and hawing about this, that, and the other thing, but I'm really excited about this. And I, I feel optimistic about it because I feel like if any company were to acquire the rights to, um, to Star Wars, there's no other company I would have rather have had it but Disney. And I don't think any of the rest of them, you know, maybe maybe the Star Wars movies won't be all that great or this, that, or the other thing. But I'm still glad that Disney has those rights because I think out of all the other companies, I think they'll take care of it more than any of the other companies. They would sell off parts and different things like that. I feel like Disney with Marvel and how well they've done implementing that into movies and things. It makes me optimistic. It makes me optimistic about the movies. And we're getting little tidbits here and there about how these movies are going to be and who's going to be in them. So that's pretty cool. We've gotten some casting now, so we can look forward to that. And then there was a small little video from the director, Abrams, that he released for a charity. But there was a little sneak peek at um, actual puppet practical effect. So what he's said in the past also is there will be less emphasis on green screen and a little bit more of the traditional practical effects. So that's also an encouragement because, of course, there's always room for green screens, but there needed to be more practicals than there were in the previous films. So it's encouraging to me, at least. This is some of the things that I'm encouraged about to see that, that they're going to have more um, actual sets and more puppeteers and things like that, which makes me very optimistic. Um, all right, so we're going to take a little break from that, and then we're going to start looking for a place to put our lights. So I'm thinking about one there, and I'm thinking about, whoa, we've fallen off our scaffolding. It's a good thing we didn't break our leg. Um, I'm thinking about maybe right here. So let's just see here. Um, let's move this one over one more block, one more block, and place it right about there. Yeah, yeah, that's a good spot. Okay, and then we'll just scaffold on up here. Scaffold on up. Okay, and let's see here. I'm going to place you right there, and I'm going to replace you, and I'm going to place you right there, and voila, let there be light. And then one right there. Okay, perfect. And we're going to try to do a few little tricky things here to try to avoid wasting too much andesite here. 
and I think it should work out pretty well. If we, I like this, if you can get a quick little glance here, I like how it sticks down a little bit over there, just a little extra detail. A little extra detail is a good thing. And then I'm going to go right about there, and I'm gonna run this one to there. There we go, I kinda like that, I kinda like that, hmm. Try to decide, I think this, this would actually look good to there. And then I'm gonna leave it to here and I'm gonna do a small decoration to kind of make an arch that comes over to this pillar and which will meet there, which won't make it look so weird as it does now. Like, you know, it looks a little bit odd right now, but with this arch meeting here, I think it'll look good. So bear with me on that piece there. But um, like I was saying, I'm I'm optimistic and I'm excited for those movies and I think they'll be pretty good because, you know, the prequels, they they weren't so great, unfortunately, you know? They could have been oh, so much better. And everybody, we all know that and we can put that aside and we know that the people who are working on Star Wars completely acknowledged the fact that there were problems with those movies. And you could see a lot of the stuff that uh, that they're working on now you know, he's mentioned there'll be less, a little less green screens and there'll be more practical sets. So that's encouraging. They're also shooting these, this movies back on film again, which is, that's very interesting. I'm pretty sure that's that, that rumor is true that they have announced that they're actually shooting it on actual film. So that's pretty interesting. And um, yeah, so I, I am, I'm encouraged. I like what he did, uh, J.J. Abrams did with Star Trek. I know, like I said, some super fans have their gripes, but I consider myself a pretty big super fan, and I really like just the 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 new modern breath of fresh air he breathed into the series, and I think it was in much need of that, and I think now that Star Wars is also in that same category. All right, so I like that. What do you guys think? I think this adds just a little extra, a little bit of color and a little extra detail there, so it's not just the same you know, material going all the way down. I think that's a good improvement over there. So now the only problem is it looks a little funky on this side, how there's a block there and a block there. Now we could always remove this, so we could take a look at how that looks. So, yeah, and that looks kind of funny not having a, a place for this to sit on. So let's back that off and let's try to come up with something different there. Let's see, We well, hmm. So that's why I didn't do it originally because I thought it looked a little bit odd, you know, having the, the, the two blocks down there. But I feel like we, we can we can figure this out. We can figure this out and make this look good. But give me one second. Let me kind of catch my breath and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So I did a few improvements on one side of it and then we can do the rest of it so I can show you how to do it. And let's see here. So let's pop on back inside. And as you can see, there's the lights are moved in just one block inward. And then there's this little arch that kind of goes up like that. And then this piece surrounds that um, extra piece of andesite, which I think kind of balances out and makes it look a little bit nicer. So let's see if I can get up here and walk down the little trapeze. There we go. And look at that. I think that looks pretty darn cool. We could also back off that one piece of andesite back in, maybe do another stair, but we'll see about that. But the little arch I think looks pretty cool. And um, we did this here where we have the the stairs kind of wrap around and I think it looks nice. So let's do the same on the other side. Here we go. So let's just back off right a bit there. Okay. All right, so then we'll bring this back to about here. So I think we'll bring it to there and then we'll fill in right there. Good, perfect, okay, so we can get rid of all that. And we'll look for our stairs, and let's make a couple extra half slabs, here we go. So let's see, there we go, got that. Perfect, okay. So let's see here, where do we want to start this section? Okay, like that. All right, and get that all the way around, perfect. Get that, did that wrap on the other side like that too? Let me just take a look. Okay, it did. So I wanted to see if that piece of smooth smooth stairs actually connects with the milk chocolate, and it will. So we'll see if that looks okay or not. No, I fell in the water. I'm going to have to make like a staircase to get back in here. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a little staircase in case I keep falling. Uh, let's make a little, little step there. Okay. Um, let's see. Connect that right there. Perfect. Okay, 
Now back up here again, and let's start looking here for how we want to do this. So boom, boom, like that. And then just bring it into the center. Yeah, easy peasy. So also wanted to talk a little bit also about the Star Wars games. So we we have had some disappointments in that realm since Disney did buy Star Wars. And that's with uh, 1313, it got canceled, which that was a big bummer. And But I have a feeling that that game, we could see that game resurrected someday. And I think why, because when Disney bought um, Lucas Arts and well, Lucas in general, films in general, and they also acquired, you know, Industrial Light Magic and Lucas Arts, I feel like when they did that, they wanted to completely restart that particular studio. They had some good games and they had some not so good games. And I think they really wanted to re-energize that studio and get it back up and going. So I have a feeling that those games will maybe make a comeback someday, 1313. And I have a feeling that also they're going to be good because one thing that the Abrams um, guy did say, the director of the new Star Wars movies, is he said that he doesn't want to make a bad Star Wars game tied to a movie. And we all know that games tied to movies are never the greatest games. I don't know why. You'd think there would be a bigger budget or something along those lines for those particular um, games, but there just never is, unfortunately. But I have a feeling that we're going into a series of good movies and some good games coming out with first being Battlefront 3. So like a Battlefield type game, but set in a Star Wars universe. So you can't go wrong with that. And uh, Battlefront 1 and 2 were awesome games. So I'm very hopeful that that will be really cool. I think that, I believe that comes out next year, I believe, next year. And um, I think we're going to start to see some better games with the Star Wars franchise tied in. And not to mention that we're also soon, which got announced um, this week, that they're making spinoffs of the Star Wars films, like there'll be like a Boba Fett movie or a Darth Maul type thing. So they'll focus in on one character, kind of like they did with Iron Man and um, some of the other uh, Marvel films. So yeah, I am looking super forward to some of these things. And I want to hear your guys' opinions on that. If you guys are fans of the Star Wars universe and films and things like that what your guys thoughts on are in the new movies and the new games and well guys this has been good times with scar and i always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my move my movies no well i guess this could be considered a movie can we call my videos a movie mm. we'll just keep it a video i always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and if the video deserved a rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll See you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. So now we have eight blocks of um, of our quartz. And of course, if you're doing this without quartz or something, you know, snow is an option or also wool. So another thing we're going to do now is we are going to attach some stairs along here. So we're going to go like that. There we go. And I'm trying not to make you guys dizzy with all this bobbing. But once we get...